Hi, this is Joel from Toxic Holocaust. We're out on tour with Sacred Reich and Guar. This is our van. I believe it's a Sprinter. It's actually not ours, it's a rental. So I think it's a Sprinter or something similar to that. So come take a look. So mainly we have a guy out on the road with us. Uh, he does merch and he does a lot of the driving. Um, so our guitar player and me will take turns, but usually at nighttime our, our merch guy will do it. Um, for entertainment, basically like, you know, I think this is, this is a, probably a running theme for a lot of like bands that play like heavier shit. Uh, usually it's a lot of stuff that isn't super heavy. Like after the shows, you kind of get burnt out on it when you're basically at the, at the show the entire day listening to stuff like that. So yeah, it's a lot of podcasts, like audible books on tape and stuff like that. So all kinds of things, you know, we, we have a really good, uh, you know, our, our communication in the van is very good. Like sometimes you see, like especially in something like smaller like this, you're all in each other's, you know, it's space the entire time. So you got to be respectful of each other and stuff like that. So we have a really good, you know, communication thing going on in here. So it's good. Right now, basically, um, well, today it's kind of a little bit different because today we, we listen to a lot of like more obscure heavy metal stuff that we haven't listened to in a while. It's stuff that we used to listen to. The, the guy that uh, goes out on the road with us all the time, um, I've been touring with him for almost like, I don't know, 15 so, or so years. So we were kind of reminiscing about some of this stuff. So we busted out a lot of the older stuff like um, Jaguar and like just more uh, new of a British heavy metal type stuff. But um, uh, Neuromancer is like a, a book on tape we're about to get into. And I think a lot of uh, bands on the road it is, is more boring than I think people realize sometimes like <laughs> I think it's like you know like loud music and like partying the whole time but you know it's like books on tape and stuff like that so it's probably a bum out to a lot of people to hear that but that's how it is lately it's been me sitting here a lot uh, it's only the second day of the tour so we really haven't figured out that but uh, yeah we like to keep someone up here to keep the driver awake if we do a long drive but we haven't had any long drives yet but that's always just a general rule anyway it's good to like have someone to talk to the driver for those like night drives when you have like, you know, eight hours to the next show kind of thing. It's just a smart thing to do in, in general for bands on tour. But um, yeah, this is this is my stuff right here. Uh, <laughs> got my my fruit and carrots and my uh, shirt I'm gonna change into after the show. Some sunglasses I picked up today that say Piranha on them. And uh, my TNC hat that I got in Hawaii. So yeah, man, I mean, pretty uh, pretty basic. It's a little weird now because, I mean, this would probably look completely different if this was at the end of this two-month tour. This is like three days in, so. <laughs> so we are, we're four people total on this tour. We like to travel pretty with a small crew because, you know, something like this, it's, it gets a little bit crowded if it's too many people. So yeah, it's the band, which is a three-piece, and then we have one person out with us that's helping with merch and driving and stuff. So two people would be back here. You know, they're obviously someone in the passenger seat and someone driving. Um, it's pretty messy right now because we haven't worked out our, our, you know, the way we're going to put things and everything yet. So we don't know the whole scenario yet of this place. So kind of just putting beers that we have left over from the shows anywhere they get, can go and things like that. But yeah, I mean, it's, uh, we usually tour more in like a 15 passenger van and sometimes with a trailer, sometimes with not. So yeah, I mean, this is, this is uh, the other, this is the drummer and guitar player's area for now, and uh, yeah, it's pretty messy because we don't know what we're doing yet. Okay, so there's there's some stuff laying around that's each member's I think, and uh, I showed you my stuff, and so our drummer has super long hair, really thick hair, so he's you know, he's got the brush over there, got some empty water I guess that he didn't throw out. Um, okay, this is kind of funny with with the mouthwash here because we've been like wondering about this because I think we ca it came with the van. And we don't know where it came from. Like, it's none of ours. So we've, we've kind of been looking at that, like, don't know where that came from. But yeah, I guess this is Rob's stuff right now, our guitar player, so. Yeah, so this is the uh, the back where we keep our gear. It's a disaster right now. This is all like, this is dead cases. So we loaded our stuff onto the stage in there. And then what you do with the rest of the gear is you put the, you know, the cases back in the, in the trailer. Because this place doesn't really have a staging area for that stuff. So we had to bring it back in here. Um, we're at Reggie's in Chicago, by the way. Uh, so yeah, this looks really insane right now. But normally the way it would be packed would be like drums back there, 
So actually, first, there's there's merch back there that is like the the dead stock that we don't bring all the merch in every night, and so that's like the boxes that are like waiting to be sold. And then there would be guitars, and then the drums would be here, and then some extra merch that we load out at the end because we usually load the merch out at the end. So yeah, I mean, it's we're still we're still learning our way how we're gonna pack in this thing because it obviously doesn't have a trailer and it's like a totally untraditional. You know, it's not like a van where you can take out the seats and then there's like no seats here. It's, uh, it's a little bit weird. It's like a hallway you have to go down to load shit. So <laughs> you have that whole scenario, but it's working out pretty good. I like how tall it is. You can load a lot of stuff really high, but we all take turns loading out. I mean, basically we wait till on the, on these tours, we're not playing last. So we have to wait till the end of the show and then we just all gather up and you know, bring stuff out. Thanks for watching. And we have a new record coming out soon. It's coming out in October and uh, come see us on the road. We'd appreciate it.